Hi lads and lasses, Modest Pelican here, with a video looking at the first part of the new Turning Tides DLC for Battlefield 1. If you enjoy this video, please update your message tone to the phrase, Hi lads and lasses, Modest Pelican here, as this really helps spread the good word of my channel. First, let's take a look at the new map Cape Hellas. Like little baby turtles are left by their mothers in the sand to find their way to the ocean, you must do the reverse and make your way from the ocean and find your way to the sand as you storm the beaches of the Gallipoli Peninsula. Unlike baby turtles though, you won't be exploring the underwater magic of the ocean. You'll be shooting motherfuckers in the head. This map utilises Conquest Assault, which sees the allied forces who storm the beachfront start with no flags captured, but a 300 point advantage. I must say, DICE have done a fan-fucking-tastic job of not only recreating a unique battle, but also for the most part, balancing this game for both teams. The real challenge on this map will be trying to clamber the one foot high sand ledges. Welcome to Battlefield 1, Clamber Warfare. The team goes If you would like to really immerse yourself in the Gallipoli beachfront assault, just capture the objectives that are closest to the beach to recreate some spectacular historical moments. If you want the easy win, just use a boat to flank around and capture the flags at the back of the map. And if you want to get wet and practice your diving technique, just use the ship you spawn in as a diving board and enjoy launching yourself into that warm Mediterranean Turkish water. All in all, I really like Cape Hellas and I think the map is a great addition to Battlefield 1. Then there is Achi Baba, an infantry only map which has players compete for a hilltop position and has similarities to the map Argon Forest. Achi Baba is different to Cape Hellas as you won't have the opportunity to get wet here as this particular part of the sandy region is drier than a nun's honeypot. This map can offer amazing moments and gunfights, but can also turn into a bit of a clusterfuck, or sometimes at its worst, a one-sided spawn trap. Realistically though, this is just the nature of small infantry only maps, and I for one really enjoy not having to deal with pesky tanks whilst playing. The key to being successful on Achibaba is to completely avoid the choke points. I have actually invented a little strategy, which I like to call the triple A strategy, which stands for avoiding autoerotic asphyxiation. When implementing this tactic, you should always take a non-linear route to the objective and ensure to flank if possible to avoid those choked up areas. If utilized correctly, you should end up shooting people in the back getting tons of kills, and all in all wondering how the fuck the people you were shooting at don't realise that you were right behind them. Turning Tides also brought with it some new weapons. I haven't had a chance to unlock all of them yet, but so far I am really enjoying the Farquaad Medic Rifle as it really suits my playstyle. Obviously, I have been calling this gun Lord Farquaad. Lads and lasses, in a Pelican public service announcement, I have recently started using Twitter quite a bit to post joyful memes, post updates, and run Twitter polls. Such as this one, where I asked you guys what you would like to see in Battlefield 2018. You guys voted that you'd like to see dice include milk that tastes like real milk. Great choice. Otherwise, just remember, on the 12th day of Christmas, Battlefield gave to me. 12 Gunners Gunning. 11 scouts sniping, 10 noobs are camping, 9 tanks advancing, 8 spikes of lag and, 7 games I'm winning, 6 pay and sprain, 5 broken controllers, 4 triggered gamers, 3 overly aggressive messages, 2 restraining orders, and a motherfucking MG15. That little song is for one of my subscribers, Cryptic Fuzzy, who asked that I sing, or more accurately talk out monotone and mundanely, a 12 Days of Battlefield Christmas jingle. That's it from me, you fucking legends. Until next time, and as always, stay classy.